Oh, Jim Panky here. I've had a lot of you ask for more claw hammer content. I heard you. So here it is. This is Cluck Old Hen, and it's one of my favorite tunes to play, mainly because I decided somewhere along the line to not do it in A. I'm doing this out of double C tuning. And I do it just basically as a banjo showpiece. I'm not necessarily doing it to play with other folks and, unless they want to. If you're going to learn Cluck Old Hand to play in an old time jam somewhere, you might should learn it in A. But if you want to play this and, and just as a banjo showpiece or just for your own enjoyment, that's why I do this in this key. I have a lot of fun here and I know you will too. It's not hard, it lays out really nice in double C, so let's just figure this thing out. But before we do, if you like this kind of content, let me know, maybe hit the like button, maybe hit the subscribe, and if you want to get notifications and stuff, hit that bell, I really appreciate it. Let's figure this out. So I'm in double C tuning, So that's a D, a C, a G, a C, and another G. Double C. And we're going to play in the claw hammer style because you asked for it. Uh, the, the song really, melody is really pretty close to being in this tuning anyway. It's a modal kind of tune, but... We're, I'm going to show you how to find it. So we'll just go through it really slow, and you can go back to the reference video there I played at the beginning and slow it down. But let's look at this thing piece by piece. And the great thing is there's only two pieces. Oh, you can add all kind of variations to it, your own touch, your own flavor, and I hope you will. I mean, what I'm showing you is just a way to do it. So it starts on the fourth. So just four, two. So it's four, two, and then that's the five. So it's bum diddy. It's just a bum diddy. But from the four, two, and then you're gonna hold the third string. And you, you can do a pull off there. So it's a pull off and then a two, five. That's a bum diddy. So bum diddy. So pull off, but you don't even have to do the pull off. You can go just like that. Simple. Okay. So then bum diddy, and I just do a slide from from three to five on the fourth string. So here's what we've got so far. Close. You can hit them big, you can hit them little, however you want to hit them. You can hit them hard, you can hit them soft. It's totally up to you. <laughs> so. And then. And then I do a drop thumb sequence. So three, four. So that's a finger on the three, four with the thumb. And that's finger on the fourth string and you're going to slide and then open. So. Clears mud, right? <laughs> but I know you can do it. And that's the first little part. And so you can just play that twice. Makes the A part. Second part, we have... So it's just a drop thumb. It's a two, three, two, five. And then I'm gonna fret the uh, second string at the third fret. You can use your middle or index. I never can make up my mind. It's just whatever is convenient for me at the time. So, and I just do a bum ditty there. And 
then another drop down. And then the third fret, third string, bum ditty. So drop thumb, bum ditty on the second string, bum ditty on the third string. So, and then our next sequence, same drop thumb. And then, so you're gonna fret the third fret on the first and second strings and you're going to go two three and you're going to do a pull off on the first string from the fifth fret so it's just a bomb ditty so two pull off second string and then the second string Does that twice and that gives you a basic little version of cluck old hen in double c so let's put it all together really slowly so we start with her and i just slid from from three to four but you can slide to five. It's whatever you want to do. So, or you can do it right off the third fret. You don't have to put the slide. So that's a variation that you can do there. And then the second part. slowly and I'll try not to talk this time you can start with some ideas for cluck old hen in double c and i did it a couple of different ways and feel free to use the slow down feature you'll have a gear or three dots or something you can click on and you change the playback speed uh it's also amusing just to hear me talk in slow motion so <laughs> hey thanks for watching i really enjoyed doing this i hadn't done a claw hammer video in just almost nearly forever so thanks for asking and we'll see you soon bye y'all